Hi, welcome to Castell Creations. My name is Trisha, and I've been seeing everybody do these Dollar Tree hauls. So I decided I love Dollar Tree. I love DIYs. Why not get in on it? Um, what makes me different is maybe I've got a different perspective on different things that people do. And I truly love the inspiration that other women are giving each other through YouTube. So, without further ado, I have a mega haul. Over a week and a half's worth of Dollar Tree purchases. Um, my kids dragging me out of the stores, going, you know, 30 minutes away to find out whether another Dollar Tree in my area had something. Complete, utter madness. So, are you ready? Here we go. So, I had seen this on another YouTuber's um, video, and I believe it was Pretty and Flawed. I believe her name is. She's wicked cool. Love her. But it's this little glass container with a plastic cap. Okay. And if you do that, and you stick one of these little scrubbies in, slit a hole in it, and put some nail polish remover, you've got yourself a super duper awesome nail polish remover caddy that seals up. You don't need to smell it. Pretty awesome. So that was part one of my one of my part of my haul. Like I said, it's a mega haul. Okay. If we're going to go into nail polish, who let me tell you, Dollar Tree has far exceeded expectations that I originally had when I first started going there. These are red long colors. This is, well, it's a blue color, like a, a teal color. This one says, mint chip so that is mint chip really pretty really really pretty this one here says ooh, so really sweet kind of a a pinkish it does have a, a tiny bit of sparkle just enough to maybe when you're out in the sun to it hits and it shines. Super pretty. I love glitter. So I did pick up this. I believe it's kind of an overlay. <laughs> it's called Army Brat. It is a pink glittery kind of see-through. And it's called Army Brat. And I laugh about that because my husband just retired from the Army two years ago. And then this silvery one. Mm, it doesn't have a, a name on it. New shade. Oh, it's on the top here. Well suited. And the, all these nail colors are Revlon colors. They're right here on the on the bottle. Super cool. So that's that. They also, everyone's been going, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over these um, Bolero products. So my daughters have already swiped the little um, wipes, but I got two of those in the Honeysuckle, and they are awesome. I love them. I was kind of like, okay, whatever, but they're great. They're great. So at my store, the, well, my stores, I should say, the display for the Bolero stuff was wrecked beyond belief. And I mean, people were hiding stuff around the store. So I had to be kind of like, 
dun, 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 detective. But I did find a coconut, what is this here? A coconut oil and sea salt oil, body oil. It says it's for face, skin, and hair. And then I did also get the Italian pear. And then I was also able to find in this that it's already been opened, um, the English rose blossom. But I got that in the cream as well. And I got three of those because I am, I am in love with the smell rose. I love rose smells. Right now it is wafting about my house. Not that you could smell it, but I, I'm going to tell you it smells pretty darn good. Anyway. But this, you can smell it even through the foil. It is gorgeous, just gorgeous. So that's what I picked up in the Bolero line. I did find one hand soap and I put that in the um, bathroom already as well <coughs> because we needed hand soap. I also um, found at the store I went 30 minutes away, I found these wax melts. Now, along with Rose, I love lilacs. I grew up and um, near a town called Lombard in Illinois. Anybody there who, who represent? But this is amazing. It reminds me exactly of what the lilacs smelt like at Lilacia Park. So, you know, memory lane at my age, you know, anything that triggers a good memory. <laughs> so that was yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. They are getting some really, really cute, cute things that Gosh, I don't even know where to start here. Let's see. Oh, let's do flip-flops. Okay. I love shoes. I'll be coming on here with bargains that I find, anything like that. But these flip-flops, are you serious? Do you see how cute these are? These little flowers on them, so cute. And yes, they are not the high-end quality, but they're good for flipping and flopping around, you know. I also got them in a purple, kind of almost like a mandala color or mandala kind of design with the purple color. Super cute. Purple's my favorite color, BTW. And then that same print in pink. Pretty in pink. I will fix my lighting, y'all. This is my very first video. So I kind of wanted to do that super haul kind of thing and show you what we've got going here in northern Alabama is where I am. Um, I'm also a huge crafter, so I'm going to end up showing you guys some ideas for using Dollar Tree products to make like amazing decorations so stay tuned for that as well um we'll get some of this glass stuff out of the way i guess i picked up two of these jars i mean they're pretty you can get them pretty much anytime pretty much any dollar tree but they're so good they're really well put together they're not you know um, low quality or anything like that by any means. They are, let's see here. Oh, okay. So there's no, so this must be just like a Dollar Tree item, but they are so good and they are so big. Love them. These are going to be part of the DIY. I promise you, I got two of them. Okay. So... 
let's see. I also picked up some of the, these came in too. So these little mini baskets, they've got the, oops, and of course they're taped. But they've got the little handles and they come in two. They came in this uh, teal color, this bright green. I got, let's see, two, four, I got six of these bright green. I am probably going to spray paint them though, because I do have kind of a DIY with these that I'm using this and a uh, pegboard. So stay tuned for that. That's going to help keep me organized um, and keep me out of the doghouse with all my stuff laying around because it's all over, I promise you. But these, two for a dollar, they're really good quality, too. You know, I really, I enjoyed uh, going to Dollar Tree and finding all these amazing deals. I also picked up four of these cutesy little jars. So, if you guys have these at your Dollar Tree, let me know. Because this was the first time that I had seen these ones that sit on their side. Kind of rem remind me of the little uh, candy jars at stores that you, you know, they sit on the end here. Forgive me, my dog is going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now. But I did pick up four of these. Uh, keep an eye out. I am going to do a DIY with these as well. While we're on glass, I did pick up two of these decanters um when you're in restaurants you you know someone puts orange juice in them or um apple juice i figured i'd get you know a clear one and then one in um a tinted blue just like uh on a sunday morning saturday morning if you want to have breakfast you know put the orange juice out if you have people over it'll look maybe a little classier really really cute and um heavy duty glass decanters um really heavy <laughs> let's see what else uh speaking of organizing i did pick up uh let's see one two three four five six seven seven of these stack them up totes these are going to go into my garage and uh where i have a huge wire rack and they kind of just stack on top of each other like this making it easy to put stuff in and uh kind of just organize it you know maybe i'll put Oh, I don't know. Embellishments, stickers, um, you know, flowers, things like that. Um, oh, flowers. Oh, wait till I show you the flowers, y'all. I'm not even going to believe. While we were on um, just little plastic containers and whatnot, how cute are these? I mean, for real, how cute. The little drawers that pull out um i did find something out about these i am doing a diy with these you gotta stay tuned if you want to see it because i did figure something out about these and it is going to make for an amazing amazing diy as a space saver all right, guys, give me one second here. Okay, now that my dog is done having a fit, we'll get back to this. Uh, there are so many cute, cute, cutesy, cutesy things. Let's see. The Dollar Tree that I went to that um, was 30 minutes away had these straws. The little straws with the flamingos on them, really, so cute, so cute. You just put the flamingos on there, 
How cute, your kids. I have teenagers, so, you know, my teen, teens have someone over, their friends over, pop out these straws, how cute, right? They had them with the flamingos, the little pineapples, which are huge this year. Pineapples are it this year, okay? And they even had the straws, and I don't know how this is going to, how these work. But with the little umbrellas, like, how does that work? So, I'm going to open one up because I'm really curious, but I wanted to do it on camera. So, oh, they even got, wow, these are a dollar. And they even got the little rubber bands on each one of the little umbrellas on the straws. So, let's see here. Oh, how cute really you just kind of pry it apart after you take the oh so cute you just pry it apart a little bit and then it's got well this one broke a little bit but each one is kind of divided like that and the umbrella pushes up on the straw how adorable a dollar you guys a dollar for how many do you get in here 16 i mean that is a steal and then of course because you know i think the umbrellas are just so cute i got the toothpick ones and these aren't like your regular toothpick ones or picks these are the plastic picks with the traditional, uh, like paper, cray paper umbrellas. Really cute. 16 of these for a dollar. Just cutesy tootsy little things. Um, I am thinking about using these in a DIY. Uh, I've got a couple really cutesy tootsy things, uh, in mind. We'll see how that goes. So let's put that away. I did uh, pick up a, oh my gosh, a bunch of these push lights because I am probably my next video, I will be making a homemade. Um, makeup mirror like super cute fully functional makeup mirror using dollar tree products i seen you know some people other people's ideas and thought to myself i'm gonna step that up i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something really cool with it so keep an eye out it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna be huge i have got one two three four five six seven eight i've got eight of these push lights it is going to be a hot mess it's going to be huge guys amazing 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 so let's see i think i'm gonna go ahead and do like some little like uh odds and ends things that i got I did get one of the pop-up pampers for my bathroom, for my towels. Um, you know what? It may not last forever. It may be kind of cheap. But you know what? If it lasts me for like three months, a dollar, I'm good with that. I did also pick up some cat nail clippers. For me, it's just a tiny bit easier to get the cat's nails versus using like the big dog nail clippers that we have so this is going to be a lifesaver and then i don't like using the dog products on the cats so i got a pet brush for the cats really nice these are really nice construction they are made by gkc green buyer green briar kennel club it has got the um 
standard like old brush type of brush on here and then it has the just the little whatever these things are where you can brush so you can do a very thorough or very uh, deep kind of brush great for one dollar this thing is heavy duty solid this is wood this is not like plastic this thing is wood dollar great find fantastic find I don't know what the heck there we go maybe that'll help just a tiny bit i also paint so um instead of you know wasting paper plates and things like that um i also with painting i also teach um like those painted like paint parties so I picked up two of these mini wavy, what do they call it? Mini wavy plates. They're really, really tiny. They come with like two, two wells, I guess you could say, or maybe, oh no, they are all just one piece. That's kind of cool. Um, I thought they were connected when I first got them, but these are going to be great when I put out paint at paint parties. Also, um, along the same idea and lines, I did pick up two of the eight uh, round plates. Uh, these wash off nicely. The acrylic paints come off them really nice, and they don't kind of they don't meld together. This is a huge, huge lifesaver. You know, I can just wash them off and dry them and be able to reuse them at, you know, my next client's party, which is very helpful, very cost efficient. A dollar each. I mean, can't go wrong, right? Oh, along with... All those push lights, now you know, all those push lights need batteries. I, I you know, you get uh, people's opinions about the batteries. Yeah, they're not energized for the batteries, but you know what? They're a dollar for eight, right? Eight. So they take the triple A batteries, and I had the most horrific time finding triple A batteries. I think it took me literally a week and when I found them I stocked up, right? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight of them. And at the end of the day, yeah, I probably could have gotten like Rayovac or Energizer, but you know what? I'm I'm partial to my Dollar Tree. I love my Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, also with that, I am going to take all those batteries out. And I did find these sandwich containers, which um, I can unwrap all this, put the, unwrap all the batteries, put them in here and have just one solid place instead of having this huge mess of battery packages. I also did this with um my double a batteries granted i bought way less of the double a batteries because there are so many of them watch i say that and next time i need double a batteries they're going to be out right right so i got two of those i did the same thing with these neat uh sandwich containers now i saw these and i thought who makes a sandwich that big? <laughs> That's a big sandwich. I, I'm ridiculous sometimes. Ridiculous. Okay, so let's do a couple more odds and ends. I did pick up four of these uh, metal plants or metal hanging plant brackets. 
I have a DIY coming up and I need to, I needed four of these to show you guys the DIY. So that is kind of, you know, nothing specific about it, but it is a necessity for a DIY. Okay, that's other stuff. Also with the DIY coming up, I did pick up three of the smaller wire baskets. Um, I have the bigger one that I keep out by my painting station and I like them. I mean, yeah, they're, you know, they're squishy and I mean, they're not like super great, but they're really good baskets, you know, for a dollar. How, what else could you expect? Okay. One moment. Okay. Sorry. That was my daughter messaging me, uh, at lunch. Um, along the lines, more random stuff. I did get two packages of these foam brushes. I love these foam brushes. I work with a lot of like chalk paints when I'm redoing or refurbishing um, different furniture pieces. Or um, say I have a huge canvas that I need to cover or I'm doing a di different kinds of works or, or something. But these always come in handy. Always. Mother's Day is coming up. So I did purchase two Mother's Day cards. Um, each of these Mother's Day cards was a dollar and they are just beyond cute, beyond cute. They're the Walla brand, Walla, but they are so cute. This is really glittery. I don't know if you can see it with the plastic, but it's glittery and it's got little rhinestones. And these little raised um, roses, super cute, super cute. And then another one that's got um, raised, what do you want to call that? Raised glitter pieces, rhinestones, ribbons, um, just really cute, really cute cards that you would think that you would pay way more than a dollar for, I'll tell you that. Uh, and then I also picked up one of these little um, watering cans. I mean, if you have a huge garden, this probably would not help you very much. But for me, I only have maybe three or four plants. So it, you know, it was worth it. A buck. It's all good. <laughs> I also picked up some of these self-adhesive hooks. Um, they had them in the silver, which I thought was really cool. I've not, I've not seen them in different colors other than white. And these have a two pound hole to them. So, you know, put them together. You get, like if I needed to hang a painting, I could put three of them together for a bigger painting than a hold six pounds. So, you know, renters, this is really, really, really good um, to have stuff like this. And, you know, those other brands are super expensive. So you get six of these for a dollar. Great buy. Great buy. Uh, let's see what other little um, odds and ends I've gotten. Oh, chalk. This is the Crayola brand, the 12 count of the colored chalk. Sometimes I need it to map out certain things that I'm doing on paint. Um, I've got chalkboard, uh, dry erase chalk, or dry erase chalkboards. I've got little homemade chalkboards at home. So sometimes, you know, you want to color it up. One dollar for the Crayola chalk. I know these are like $2 maybe even, or $3 at Walmart, I would think. 
for the Crayola, unless you get it on sale. So, yeah. Also found, and I, I'm partial to my childhood. I loved little neat um, things that, you know, we had as a child. This is an old kind of like sugar jar that you can get, that you see at like, well, you used to see at diners and restaurants, but my mom had one as well, and I just, I loved it. So, when I saw it, it was the last one left, and I scooped that up big time. Okay, I know I got a bunch of odds and ends. Odds and ends, I should say. Oh, I did pick up a three pack of these um, lock top lock top snack container with lids. To me, these just look really cute. Um, like if I'm going somewhere with the dogs and I want to put a treat in there or the, you know, you have a bar of soap and you're going out of town, you can put your soap in here. Just, um, there's probably a million other different ways to use these. I got, it says bonus includes extra container. So even two for a dollar is a good deal, but I got the bonus ones with the third extra. Really good construction, really good um, snappability on the lock tops. Really good buy. So, I'm a sucker for shoes. I'm a sucker for socks. I lived in South Korea in Seoul for two years, and if anybody knows the sock game there, the sock game is crazy. They sell socks on the side of the road for like a dollar, two dollars, and you get these really funky socks. I will do a video of the socks that I've gotten. They will, it, you guys, it shall, will just be an interest piece because these socks are so cool. So, speaking of socks, we're going to start with these little baby booties that I saw. Now, my niece is pregnant, and she's going to have her baby in June. So, we saw these little socks, and they're so dang cute. So cute. The little polka dots with the gray heel, and the little scalloped edges on them with the little flowers. So cute. A dollar. Cute, cute, cute for little baby booties. Love it. My girls also um, love socks. Go figure. But in the kids section, now, my oldest daughter is 17 and has got super tiny feet. And these things stretch. So, she got these kids fashion socks. And people think, oh, you're buying socks from the Dollar Tree? Well, these things are really good quality socks. Love them, love them, love them. They are just fashion socks. I'm trying to see the brand. Um, doesn't really give a brand. Just fashion socks. But flamingos, and then there's just a, a plain gray pair, and then this really cute striped pink and white and blue. Cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. And then there was these other ones with the pink and the light pink and the dark pink roses. A pair of plain white socks everybody needs and these gray and these neon that's like a neon green and pink really cute socks so my oldest daughter got six pairs of socks for two dollars 
Okay? Okay. Then my oldest um, just wanted to get some really cute socks. Um, she saw these, and these are a bigger size, but these are white socks with the pink flamingos with the uh, re well, I don't, they're not reinforced, but they are color blocked, the color blocked pink heel. And then a white pair of socks lined with the light pink and the light pink heel. And then a striped pair of the bright pink, light pink, white, and bright pink enforced or heel and uh, ankle. ankle. Three pairs of socks for one dollar. So cute. So flipping cute. <laughs> All right. Oh, I did get some games. A while back, I purchased um, a couple games. Uh, this dice game. It was really neat. Really neat. Loved it. We enjoyed it. So I decided to look around all three of the Dollar Trees that I hit up for any kind of like neat games or anything that I can do um, and maybe it was like the kids in church or, or something like that and any road trips we take my kids even though they're older they still like to play like this um, this is called four in a row but it's like that um, connect four game so it's a little travel one a dollar and you know it's a dollar I wouldn't be sad if they lost a chip or something like that you know I also found these thinking cap activities uh, science for kids eight eight and up um, I got two of these grow your own crystals I want to do this I mean let's be honest I want to grow my own crystals and it says three crystal colors so you get three different pouches of crystal colors in here for a dollar it's like a science experiment so I got two of those the uh, grow your own crystals so there'll be six crystals that I can grow to all <clears throat> and then I got this just so I can irritate my husband. Um, these little pebbles, this box, all right, has a hundred of these little pebbles, these little bright colored pebbles, and it says grow your own gel balls. It says, Watch tiny pebbles grow into over a hundred squishy gel balls. A hundred of these puppies. I just, I, I think I did it just to aggravate my husband. To have a hundred of these little squishy balls all around the house. You know, you do what you gotta do. We've been married 18 years, and so I enjoy giving him a hard time, as he enjoys giving me a hard time as well. I also picked up two 500-piece puzzles. One is a kind of a nighttime scene in the wilderness off of a fishing pier. They are cardinal, and it's called Sunset Over a Busy Day. These are really cute. Really cute. And then these puzzle, this 500-piece puzzle of a bunch of doors. I just like the colors on these doors, the uniqueness of it. So I'm looking forward. I like sitting down and putting together a puzzle. I had also come to realize that um, 
we don't own a game of checkers. My kids have never learned how to play checkers. So they had this checker game there. And I'm sure it's not like the greatest quality, but like I said, my kids are teenagers. If it lasts long enough for me to teach them how to play checkers, it's served its purpose. And then I also got some of these glitter arts, uh, no glue, no mess glitter painting. Simply peel away pre-cut sections to reveal the sticky area glitter. So it's little glitter art things that um, if I'm babysitting or something, a kid can do and I don't have to worry about them making a huge disaster mess. So if I'm taking care of, you know, say uh, one of the kids from church, they can do that. I also had to get this Ariel painting because, or the velvet art, because I love mermaids. I love, love mermaids. I am going to be doing a, um, it won't be a tutorial, but um, anybody local that sees this and would like to learn how to paint a mermaid scene, I will be doing that as well. And I'll post um, kind of videos um, talking about my art pieces. You know, just in case, my channel's going to be kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a lot of DIY, um, a lot of hauls, a lot of deals. And, you know, I know there's a lot of them out there like that, but everybody has their own perspective. I did get a ton of um, stuff to do DIYs with, obviously. The decorative nautical rope, I found four of these. They, it is 13 feet for a dollar. Really, really good idea. Really good quality. So, because my Dollar Tree didn't have them, I had to get them. Then they also had this um, ribbon. It's kind of like a burlap -y ribbon. Just a a plain burlap -y ribbon. Um, it's a little more, I want to say a little more fancier than burlap, like the edges are sewn so it's not so frayy. And then of course they had the burlap ribbon pieces with the ribbon in the middle of the burlap. Really pretty edging for project. Uh, and I know I had another one too. Oh yes, I had I found the diamond wrap, the floral uh, gardens diamond wrap. You get nine feet, and I can never find the silver here by me. So I picked up. I could have sworn I picked up. Yep, I did. I picked up four of them in the silver so i took all of that and then i have floral tape that i need a lot of um the floral tape too guys is excellent they it is really great floral tape and i know i have another one around here laying around but you know then i got the jot double-sided tape it is three-fourths inch by 300 inches or eight yards. So it's not, you know, the best deal there is, but I don't use a lot of double-sided tape. So I picked up two and this will suffice me for quite some time. Also got some foam mounting tape by the original Super Glue. That's the name of the company. It is double-sided, acid-free, lignin-free, photo-safe, and permanent. Pre-cut create a 3D effect and layer projects. I do a lot of um, canvas work that 
uh, I don't want to say multimedia, but a, a lot of different things with Canvas. So these are going to come in handy quite nicely. I also picked up some thumbtacks because I got silver and I got gold because there are projects that I'm going to be doing where I'm putting um, kind of a padded seat. And we all know that the, the tacks, the decorative tacks are super expensive. So I got 300 of each color for a dollar that I use. And then they had these and I had to get them. And quite honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with 160 push pins by Jot. But they are so cute. The pink and green, the little neons, and then the pink and blue, or purple and blue, pardon me. So I don't know what I'm going to do with 160 push pins, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Also, I picked up some of this, um, what do they call this? Quick cover, adhesive covering, uh, shelf and drawer liners, washable and durable and easy to apply and remove. I picked some up in the brown wood color. I picked up two. And then I picked up two in this really cute um, gray and white pattern. Um, both being used in a DIY. Keep your eyes open for some really awesome things. I picked up two of the Dollar Tree mops being used in the DIY. Also picked up two pool noodles also being used in a DIY. I saw these. Now we're going to get to like these fun little things, I guess. Did I get this stuff? Oh, okay. Wait. There's a couple more things over here. Kind of just, um. Woo! I've got a lot. And I've been on 47 minutes, guys. I told you this was a mega one. I also got two of these utility knives. I am forever losing stuff so i picked up two with the hopes that i don't have to open the second one but in reality i know i'll probably have to so the utility knife it has two extra blades that come with it, it has a blade in it and then i believe it has yeah it has the two extra blades so the actual utility knife, the nice big ones, and two blades, bam. And these are the nice ones. These are the ones, these are the blades that they're, they're um, scored to where you can break off the blade when it's dull. Good thinking. And these are from Toolbench Hardware. Really, really good buy. Um, I did get, I saw this, this is the last one, it's the, uh, Elmer's Craft Bond, and this is another foam mounting strip, though, but this is the Elmer's Craft Bond, permanent acid free and photo safe, <clears throat> but these are the strips, these come in handy when you're hanging very lightweight, um, the lightweight flat canvases comes in handy a lot. I also picked up a nine by nine foot by twelve foot uh, drop cloth. It's plastic. I don't see it, you know, staying in contact after the first time I use it. But I am doing a huge project where I need to cover the grass, or else I'm going to get you know, funky colored grass. I did pick up a couple of these um, three packs of jute twine. 
the green and the two um, brown ones. I did pick up a couple of those. Really good for farmhouse DIYs. Uh, some painter's masking tape. You definitely need that for DIY. And a stainless steel jumbo um, scrubber. I need this because I do a lot of the farmhouse stuff. And so I need something that um, scours and scrapes off some of the paint and leaves some uh, really leaves it a really pretty finish. I what I am having a hard time finding, guys. Maybe you guys can let me know as well. But I have a horrific time finding the reindeer moss, the green reindeer moss. So like I'll go to like. Hobby Lobby, Walmart, or, or something like that, and I'll buy the big bag. But I am forever finding the Crafter Squares um, Spanish Moss, the brown stuff. And I am going to try, since I can never find it, I am going to try adding um, green food coloring to this. You know, soaking it in water and adding green food coloring, letting it dry, and seeing if it keeps a green tinge. We'll see if it works, right? I bought two of those bags because I'll, I need the brown anyhow, regardless. Another, the other floral tape that I was talking about. And then I'm seeing everybody haul these. And I thought, well... Okay, I'll I'll get them. I'm not too much of a, a fake plant person, but then I say that, and I've got a huge plethora. I mean, I have to do a different video just to show you all the flowers. So this video is not going to include the flowers. But I also got the two of the large. These are large um, planters. They are going to be used in a DIY. And these are what I'm talking about that I see everybody hauling. Um, ooh, that one came apart. But these cutesy tootsy little succulents, they are really realistic. They are cute. And I only seen them on camera, and then all of a sudden I found them buried under stuff at our Dollar Tree. This really cute um, reddish green one. Really cute. This purple and green. Love it. And then another darker green with uh, little purple highlights in it. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So that'll be part of the DIY or decorations or something like that. Uh, okay. So we all know that Dollar Tree has the fashion scarves. Well, they have they have stepped up their game on a lot of stuff. Look at how cute this is. Really cute, and it's the it's not like that scratchy material. This one is very soft and almost silky feeling like. It is 100% polyester. But, oh my gosh, the way it's woven, it the fabric's woven, just gives it a really silky feel. Totally didn't expect that. And then this really cute, um, different colored, uh, abstract flower scarf. And these are like little itty bitty scarves. These are really nice, um, good size, 63 inches by 13.8 inches. So they're nice little scarves. And this one is that same silky feel. Love it, love it, love it. I did get, um a infinity scarf a really cute one 
but it is in my room because I wore it on Saturday on our anniversary. So you'll have to forgive me. And I am noticing that Dollar Tree is just, I mean, stepping up their game on the uh, hair, hair items too. I found, let's see here. I know some of these are a little different. No. I got these Anywhere Hair and Neck Remington by Remington. These wraps. So you can, I'm going to take it out. And I saw this on uh, this, uh, I forgot whose I saw it on. But I did see it on another YouTuber's um, haul video. But look at how cute that is, really. Use it as a choker. Use it on your, uh, even just putting it, you know, on your hair like this and having it lay in back. Wicked cute. Love it, love it, love it. Then we also have another just little headband or head wrap. Kind of the lacy floral, a beaded, and all of these are Remington wraps. And this one is another um, hair and neck one. So it can be used as a headband or it can be used as a choker. Really, really cute. Give me one second. Cass, before we pick up your sister, we're going to go grab something to eat, okay, honey? Now, I saw this one, and I kind of double thought about getting it because it, it kind of gives me a vibe of winter, but I figured I could put it away for, for winter. I mean, for a dollar, I might as well. Um, it is this Remington wrap, and it is kind of that um, sweater-type cable knit sweater type of material so that's another head wrap and it is by Remington as well uh, and then two more Remington wraps both of them oh no this is a Remington and this is a basic solutions hmm what's the diff oh okay here we go the basic solutions one is kind of uh, intertwined, like there's this side here, and then this side here, and then it comes together to kind of give it that knot feeling. Cute, cute, cute. And then this one, I love this one. It's silk. Oh my goodness, it is silky. But this is a Remington wrap in the really cute, um, teal colors with the polka dots that stuff is hot this season super like hot <laughs> uh, did i ever tell you that i try to be funny and sometimes it comes up kind of creepy but just know i'm totally just plain all right We all know that Dollar Tree carries these um, little wreath foam pieces, which I love because they're, I mean, they're heavy duty. But at the Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree, they have got the awareness ribbon wreath forms. Oh my goodness, I picked up four. In fact, I was the first one to see the box and said, please open this. I would like to purchase some. So I got those. Another little kind of, um, couple little non-essential things, I guess you could say. I got the flamingo for my car. So he can bebop around. I seen and heard someone talking about these 
stands and how good they are. It is um, another lady named Trisha. She does uh, like YouTube haul videos. Super cute. She, she's she got kind of like my sense of humor. But these are the mini fans. They've got, they use two AA batteries and they do have an on off switch. I mean, if this lasts me a little bit while I'm out by the pool or something with the kids, I'm groovy with it. It was a dollar. It's cute. Then, of course, you know, I had to let my childhood run my life. And I found the, of course, it doesn't want to, the wind up chattering teeth. And seriously, how funny is that? If you need to laugh during the day, definitely worth it. And I think it might freak my dogs out a little bit and make them go berserko. So, I mean, it's worth it. Something that I thought um, was just amazing. I, I've never seen these. And then I seen them in the back of someone's YouTube video. And I had to get them. I had to find them. I went on the hunt. These <laughs> LED glow art, they are like the little mini, um, little cubes that you stick the pegs in and then it lights up. But it's got the little pegs, okay? And then it's got the light box. And then you put uh, three AAA batteries in it. And that's what the peg box looks like. So, you know, essentially you could have just a, a really cute display or, or something like that. Something unique. So I picked up three of those because I really think they could um, be used in a very creative way. We'll just leave it at that. Let's see. That's all stuff I went through. Uh, for summer, I did pick up, they've got their glow sticks out, and they had these glow stick wands. It's the wand, and it has I don't know. It has a ton of one, two, three, four, five. It has six of the actual glow sticks and the wand. And they are the huge ones for a dollar. I got all the red, white, and blue. So I got six of these for during the 4th of July. And this really cute vase base however you want to say it. I'm cool with the, uh, however you want to say it. And the handles on these, they come in red. The handles come in white. And I swear I did not do it on purpose, but they also have blue. So I didn't purposely pick up, like I had to have the red, white, and blue handles. It just happened that way. I guess I'm lucky. Uh, so Hey, I love the stickers at Dollar Tree, and I mean, I love the stickers. This one, though, I know I picked up a bunch because I'm going to be putting them in my bathroom. I know, weird bathroom, right? But I really hate plain white walls, and since we're still renting, um this is going to have to do. But look at those. Those colors are gorgeous. And it comes with, each sheet comes with all these peel and stick leaves that are huge. At least, what, five, six inches in length. I mean, with the smallest one being maybe two inches. 
So this is definitely a good buy. I mean, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 different leaf stickers on one sheet for a dollar. So I bought three to decorate the bathroom. I think I bought three. I hope I didn't buy more. Sometimes I go a little overboard because I think they are so cool looking, but I would find another um, use for them, obviously. Uh, Faith Can Move Mountains, really good, um, inspirational quotes, uh, when women are angels, when someone breaks our wings, we continue to fly, tootsie tootsies, lovey loveys, I love these, oh, I love this. Love with the little dog paws. I have dogs. If you've heard that, you heard them in the background. I love this one. Absolutely love this one. Like, I'm, I don't want to put it up because I just think it's so cute. Odd, I know. Uh, love has four paws. And that can be dogs or cats. I love them all. This one says, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. So very true. I have just put off, put off, put off getting this video together because it grew into something humongous. I mean, this is a huge haul. And it being my first video, yay! <laughs> These jumbo stickers, they are just a bunch of different filigree um, looking stickers. Really cute though. Would be a really nice decor on some things. This one says, find the beauty Uh, what does that say? Find the beauty in every day. And it's just really pretty, um, like watercolory kind of look to it, which I appreciate, of course. Pretty, pretty little um, metallic uh, butterflies. Go really pretty on some DIY projects. This one, it was the last one, and the girl sticker part here is kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all kind of crinkly and stuck, kind of made me mad, but it says, you got this girl, and it's got a heart and the lips. I love the, the saying, even, you got this with the heart, so that's why I still picked it up. Uh, this one in says, inhale courage, exhale fear. Another one. And then this one says, and I know this is, oh my gosh, this is so bad. We're doing this huge haul, and it says, <clears throat> collect moments, not things. <laughs> so, but, you know, when stuff is a dollar, really. How can you even pass it up? Okay, so the totes. Let's get to these totes. I also picked up some little, little tiny, um, like bead, you can beads or whatever, little tiny containers. Two floral foam that I need. The wire hanging baskets I found that I need for a DIY that I'm doing for my girls' rooms. They will include lights and a bunch of fabric. Um, so it won't be a total Dollar Tree DIY, 
but these were a necessity and when you can get them for a dollar a dollar three I'm not gonna pay more for them <laughs> let's just put it that way before I get to all the totally cool stuff I want to show you um, the reversible sequence bins did you all see these oh my goodness the light pink with the kind of rose gold colored uh, reversible sequence that goes to silver totally love it and then the little tiny ones the black ones with the pink and then it reverses up to silver so cute those are getting used in my craft room obviously these and I don't even think I'm gonna do anything different to these I saw someone haul them and I thought oh yeah I I wouldn't want to do anything different either the family sign it says family is made of love and laughter you just you know put them on a a counter or we have a very open part of our kitchen that you can put these on and then this one says home is a gift that lasts forever so and they're really good quality they're not cheap or flimsy really good buy cute farmhouse decor really really cute more artsy tartsy stuff i got three things of um shells and i got them because all of them kind of look a little different like the variations are really different like these are more just kind of plain nothing real fancy schmancy about them and these ones have got you know a lot of the peach colors so I thought that was neat and then this one has got just kind of a, an array of different colors so I got those and then they had these Astro Daisy clips. Um, you can put them on, they make accessories to, for wreaths, garlands, and floral arrangements. Um, they're the little alligator clips. So, like the birds that they have during Christmas that go in your tree, you can, um, Hint, hint, accessorize a hat. Keep an eye out for uh, Dollar Tree DIY on that, y'all. So I got the two really pretty light yellow and pink. Two packs for a dollar. Four of the four of the um, colors that another Astro Daisies in the dark uh bright neon pink and then i got the gerbera clips and i guess that's the name of the flower but isn't that cute how huge that is look at how big that is bam so i got a bunch of those lots of diys coming up y'all i wanted to like kick off my channel and i wanted to do stuff that I mean it's just gonna blow people away so they have the huge pack of the butterfly decorations that are on those same types of clips look at how gorgeous those are oh I cannot wait like seriously I want to get off of here like I want to rush through this show you guys what I got just so I can go DIY the crud out of stuff you know then I saw these decorative birds, y'all, on the same type of clip. But let me tell you, these are fancy. So I grabbed every color. The purple with the feathers. I mean, these things are amazing. The details and the, even to down to the curling of the feathers on them. They are so gorgeous. So I got the purple. I got this really dark teal. Beautiful baby. Green. The green is 
gorgeous on this. And of course, pink. I mean, they are so pretty. They're going to make a gorgeous display. I got a also a portable bag hanger. I saw this and I'm like, well, shoot, I've been looking all over for this. People pay, you know, five, six dollars for one of these portable purse hangers and here Dollar Tree has it for a dollar. What the heck? So, I don't know how to use these exactly, but I have to figure it out. Oh, okay. So, I see. Hello. Just hang it on. And of course, this is a really thick table that I'm at, so of course it's not going to work. This is my Korean table, and it's like this thick, and yeah, Trish, this is meant for a McDonald's table. <laughs> but I like how um, it just curls right back up, and it'll fit into your purse, or um, looks like this is a magnet, like magnetic, or is it just rubberized to hold? Maybe, but so I got it in the cutesy tootsy little diamond esque coloring. Really cute. Love it. We'll definitely, definitely use it because I hate putting my purse on the floor. Hate it. All right. I got some of these really pretty paper. Oh, what spilled? Oh, nothing, Trisha. I got some of these uh, paper coasters, eight of them, and they have the feathers and they say relax. The foil accents, um, they say paper, but I'm almost wondering if it's, let's check it out. If it's not more like um, cork for it. But we're, we'll see. Dollar, Dollar Tree fashion, it is taped like Fort Knox. Oh, okay. Hey, these are, they are on both sides, you guys. So they are a heavier chipboard. These are a heavier chipboard, but they are... They are good. They are nice. Like, if your drink sweats, yeah, it, it's probably going to ruin it. But, they're so cute. Do you ever remember your mother, like, screaming and yelling at you? Put your drink on a coaster. <laughs> I totally remember that. Totally remember having those really thick, nasty corked out um coasters <laughs> oh i'm so thirsty and been talking so much i'm trying to get through this do the uh little odds and ends here then they had these uh keychains and it's just a, a little um like coin purse with the cute little tassel and this tassel is really good i that's why i got it i think is because the tassel itself i fell in love with i'm not so keen on this but i mean this could be used for a project i'm just saying but I love the tassel. Love tassels. Love big bulky keychains. And that's me. I also got these other little keychains. It's got the tassels with the heart charms. And the uh, carabiner. But this one I think probably was left over from um, Valentine's Day. It is a red, pink, and white with the gold tassels, and it's just one uh, keychain, but I quite like it. I think it's pretty. I love the tassel. I love tassels. Love, love, love. Then, of course, I had to get the little pom-pom keychains. I got one in white and in purple because it's my favorite color. 
love these. Um, like I said, I love big bulky keychains. I don't know why. I just do. Love it. Also got 400 of these small sticky notes. Come in handy when you are, you know, needing to stick something and write on it. Just a real quick note. Then, I'm ridiculous, I know. But I saw these and I thought, I am going to get these novelty pins. Because these remind me of those trees on that Dr. Seuss movie. Um, and forgive me, because I don't remember. Comment below if you remember the name of the movie, the Dr. Seuss movie with the, or the Dr. Seuss book, I should say. These just reminded me of the trees, and I'm going to put them in a little planter and kind of decorate it all Dr. Seussy for my um, desk. Cute. Then they had these uh, little notepads that says, hello, the, hello, sunshine, with the glasses. And this has a really nice magnetic closure. Really, really nice. And then you open it up to the blue paper that says, you're gorgeous. So these are really nice quality pieces of paper. Nice quality um, closures. Little rhinestones on the sunglasses. Yeah, a dollar. I picked up two of those. I thought those were cute. They had the mini photo frames that were like the mini clipboards. So I got um, two of them in this really cute um, like rose and gold dots and black and white lines. Tray chic. These ones though, the little mini photo frames with this guys the kind of like uh what is that stuff called granite like the granite kind of thing that's totally gorgeous absolutely love it and it kind of looks like the granite um it's not the sticky adhesive stuff that they have, but they have a granite uh, lay down, like not contact sheet, but the other one that's kind of like rubbery. But they had that, so I love that. Then they had a bunch of the Jot um, clipboards. They are just the, you know, kind of flimsy chipboard ones, but... They are really smooth, so um, I'm thinking about using them as like um, a certain project. Okay, we'll do that. So I got two in this pattern, and then this was really cute. I got two in this with the little smiley faces and the rainbows, and the little sayings like dream, unicorn, perfect, girl power, fave, mermaid. I just, um, I really thought those were really cute, so I got two of those as well. All right, so let's get to the stuff that I was, like, really, really excited about. Um, with all the, like, new summer stuff, they've got a bunch of stuff coming out, so... I got this, and I got it, the surfboard, for my bathroom to put, like, perfume on or hand soap or, you know, anything that, like, kind of needs to be in there, but to make it look kind of cute. Okay. <clears throat> and they have some, now, I've never really had too bad of a problem with their oven mitts. 
but they had these and these are so farmhouse it is sickening faith family friends and it has got that gorgeous light baby blue okay with the <clears throat> wood grain on it so i got two of those and then they had them in the matching um, scrubber dishcloths. Now, I don't like the outside. I don't like where the actual print is. It feels very weird to me. But the inside has the, the little scrubbies on it, the mesh, the mesh scrubby. And you get two of them in a package for a dollar and that is the home collection brand so i picked up two of those with that same saying with the faith family and friends um two uh one of each of these and they each have a hook on the back that i the jaw hook i didn't even notice so cute these are uh, the Greenbrier International little um, sayings. This is so cute. Family and friends gather here. It's got the burlap. And then, I mean, it really looks very farmhouse. Oh, gosh, I look like a door collie. But they are very farmhouse. And then my daughter is kind of into this kind of style. And this one says, with the colors, everything starts with a dream. So I thought those were cute. And I love when my girls decorate their rooms with um, something motivational. You know, not just a bunch of garbage. So spring is here, guys, and summer's almost here. So they have these cutesy tootsy little uh, hanging signs. This one says, let's be mermaids. And they are so cute. And the quality is decent. It is not like cardboard. It's more, you know, like a, and it's not chipboard. So, I mean, they're really cute quality so i got two then this one is the pineapple and everybody's loving and digging the pineapple so i got this it says welcome to paradise and this is a good size look i mean it's it's huge <laughs> and if i'm going kind of fast it's because i have totally got to wrap this up and I'm almost done. I've gone through everything on here. I've got one pile here and then some totes. So this is a, a wall art. It is by, let's see, is it by Greenbrier? Yeah, Greenbrier. It says, nothing's going to change my world. Got that from my daughter, one of my daughters. I got two of these. It says dream big. Um, I love the, the wall art. I love the, the pictures in the wall art, right? I love them, but I am going to kind of clean up the frames with a different color, you know, this one says cherish every moment. Cherish today with the little moon in the heart. It looks so um, like Coachella chic, you know. I really like that. So I'm going to, that's for my daughter. Adventure Ed Waits. Look at how cute that is. The colors in that, in that feather piece are beautiful. Just beautiful. Love is in the air. It kind of makes this look like it's um canvas. And I wish that you could see it better, but it's almost like a canvasy look. It 
it's really detailed and makes it look like it's a, a canvas but it says love is in the air with the little paper airplane on the side there it's so cute so so cute uh this one says it is good to be home with family another kind of farmhousey look to it love it love it and then this one, I've not seen anybody haul this, but this one has got a bike on it, like a two-seater bike with a basket of roses and flowers. And it says, thankful for being part of, or thanks for being part of my journey. How farmhouse is that? So cute. I love this one. I'm going to hang it in my bedroom. I'm going to distress the frame a little bit. Just, you know, you put a little bit of work into something and things come out so beautifully. Two mirrors. Okay, two mirrors. All right. All right, guys, we're down to the totes. Everybody say totes. <laughs> this is a long video, but every month and this is april and it's almost the end of the month but i am going to put together um one if someone watches the entire video shares and sub subscribes and shares the video you get put into a raffle and every month i'm going to give away 10 um dollar tree products that i get whether it be from my stash. And then one of those products is going to be a culmination of a DIY that I do. And that is done on my YouTube channel. So share, subscribe, share, subscribe. <laughs> and you could get, you know, some really neat items from the Dollar Tree. And it's not going to be like, I'm not going to send you a pair of nail clippers unless it's really cool. And I'm not going to send you, um, <laughs> did, I mean, just ridiculous stuff. I am going to send the nicer stuff. I'm not going to send you a packet of tissue or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So these are the main street totes, the cosmetic bags. That everyone is going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over. And let me tell you, I know why. These things are gorgeous. Look at that. The little strap, the zipper, the flamingos, the colors. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree is stepped up their game so much to be on point with what's hip. They are, I mean, Goodness, they are a a crafters, a hoarder's best friend. <laughs> so they also had it in a couple other um, designs, but I got the two that I really like because I have a bunch of bags that I need to get rid of, but I won't be getting rid of these. Then they had the multicolor pumpkins or pumpkins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not pumpkins. Oh my gosh. And I totally lost it. Pineapples. Pineapples. Really nice quality. Zipper works great. And then on the inside, they're kind of lined where if you spill something, it's not going to soak through. Cute. Cutesy tootsie. All right, now we're gonna end getting to the totes. And these are the totes. And I am totes for real. We are almost done, okay? These totes I use, um, I'm gonna start using so I don't bring home so many wasteful bags from the grocery store. But this is the camera, the smaller bag with the cameras on them. I love this because I am also a photographer. Um, 
So I love this. I will end up putting together kind of like a, a slide presentation here on YouTube of some of my, um, some of my pictures from when I lived in Korea. This one, my girls and I got a kick out of. It's the cacti, and it says, looking sharp. Both sides, it's on both sides. This was the last one left, so it was a little beat up. But it's got the little polka dots in here. I mean, these are just so cute. So cute. So cute. Uh, enjoy every moment. Of course, I mean, they're printed on both sides. It's got the feathers, so you know I picked it. And it's got, like, that watercolory effect. I can't pass that stuff up, guys. Sorry. Oh, that's not the time. Okay, that's the time. Hot pink here. Super cute. All right, I think I'm going to be able to make it, guys. Now, these are the bigger coats, and I only got two, yeah, two, uh, because I just didn't find any of the, like, really cute ones. So, I got the elephant, the one with the elephant, and, the, and it's printed on both sides. And then on the inside, it's kind of like a magenta, it's a magenta color. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then I got this one, and this is the last product. And if you have hung in here for the hour and 36 minutes I've been on here, I salute you. <laughs> but it says Free Spirit. And it's those beautiful blues with that really gorgeous uh, teal color. These bags are great. They, they don't feel like they're all that great but these bags are so durable love them i love them so that concludes my very first youtube video on a dollar tree haul i am so excited to show um take some stuff that you know kind of everybody's getting maybe use it in the same way but in kind of a different way but i am so excited to come at you guys and laugh and just have a good time there's so much drama in the world nobody needs to be hateful everybody needs to just love on one another and care for each other so that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to laugh. I'm here to DIY. I'm here to make mistakes because we're all human. So remember at the end of this month and every month, I will be um, drawing a name from all new subscribers. Okay, for this first month, all new subscribers. Then next month, it will be everyone who makes a comment, okay? But for this month, all new subscribers who um, subscribe to my channel and share um, this on some social media outlet will be in the running for 10 free items, free items. Could be an awesome pen. Could be a really cute notebook. One definite thing you will get is a exclusive DIY that I have done that I have not um, seen another YouTuber do. Fair enough. Okay, so I am on the minute or minute, an hour and 40 minutes. I want to say thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great day. It is time for me to go enjoy this beautiful, sunny Alabama weather. All right, guys. Love you bunches. Take care. I'll see you soon.